welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be giving you um, a quick video on how to survive college and a quick haul of some of the things that I got um, for this next semester. I'm a senior this year. Yes, that means I'm almost done. I'm so excited. Yay! Oh, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> um, so if you want to see this video, just stay tuned. Okay, so my first tip on how to survive college, number one, focus on your studies. I know that you're going to want to, you know, go party and all of that, but I really don't recommend doing that. Um, I recommend focusing all of your spare time on your studies and making good grades, just like you did in high school. A lot of people will tell you all the drama that you went through in high school, once you get to college it'll be over with. That is false. That is not a true statement. That is a complete and total lie. Um, there is just as much drama, if not more, in college. The only difference is that, you know, in college you're hanging around more people that are interested in the same things as you. So you're going to most likely have more friends and more acquaintances. Most likely the people that you didn't get along with in high school are going to be off doing something else and they're going to be on the other side of campus. So you're hardly ever going to run into them. However, if you, you know, party and, you know, you go to lots of mixers and things like that, then that's when you're going to run into these people and that's when things can get nasty. And the reason I say that there's more drama in college than there is in high school is because alcohol is involved and a lot of times um, substances are involved like um, marijuana and things like that. So, you know, that's another reason why I say stay away from the parties because, you know, getting drunk every weekend you know, smoking pot and doing any other kinds of illicit drugs that you're not supposed to do, um, it's not going to help you at all. One of my main tips for college is to make friends with your professors. There are going to be some professors that are complete and total assholes, like assholes. Just try, you know, don't, you know, confront them in front of the class. Don't headbutt with them. That's never a good thing. You know, if you have a problem with a professor, um, you know, you could go talk to them privately. Um, you can uh, switch, switch professors, you know, get the same class with another professor um, if there's an opening. Or you could just drop the class and retake it again, although I don't recommend that because you still have to pay for it, and I think that's stupid. Another thing you could do if you have a really bad professor is just lay low. <laughs> because sometimes professors have vendettas out for people. Um, so I haven't really ran into any professors that would, you know, purposely sabotage a student's grade you know, be, just because they didn't like them, but I have ran into some professors that are complete and total assholes. There, there's few, I will say that there's few, but some of them are assholes. Most professors in college are really helpful, um, really friendly, and a lot of fun, and they are willing to talk to you outside of class. So if you're having any kind of problem in the class, go talk to your professor any kind of problem, whether um, you think the class is, you know, he's going, he or she is going too fast, or you think you might have missed something, or um, you're not understanding something correctly, you know, go talk to your professor. They are there to help you. So, you know, I'm too nervous to go talk to my professor, or, you know, they're going to think I'm an idiot. They're not going to think you're an idiot. You're there to learn. Um, and if they think you're an idiot, then they're an idiot. Sometimes you're going to get that hard class that no matter what you do and no matter how many times you ask for help, you're still not going to get it and that's fine. I had a problem with biology, um, college biology. Um, it was really difficult for me and I studied really, really, really hard and I did really well in biology in both junior high and high school. Like I had straight 100s throughout you know, junior high and high school, and then college biology just almost killed me, and I studied so hard for that class. I had over a thousand note cards for that class, and I had um, a 45-page study guide for the final. That is how hard it was, and if you hear meowing in the background, that's my cat. Thumbs up for my cat. He wants me to go turn on the faucet for him in the bathroom because he likes to drink from the faucet. Um, 
So if he meows again, I might just have to stop and go do that. <laughs> um, anyways, some what I'm trying to say is some classes are just really difficult, and no matter how hard you try, you're still not going to, um, you still might not be able to pull the best that you think you can do, and that's fine. You know, that's what's going to happen. Before college, I had never made a B in my life, <laughs> uh, and that just about killed me. Another tip um, that I want to give you is please don't show up to class in your PJs. Please don't do that. I can't stand that and professors don't like it either. It just does not show that you have any initiative whatsoever. Like if you can't even get dressed <laughs> properly to come to school. Okay, you guys are gonna have to wait one second. He meowed again. Now I have to go give him water. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, he's got the faucet running and he's drinking from it now so He's happy. Um, anyways, as I was saying about dressing properly, don't come to class in your PJs. That is ridiculous. I mean, your PJs are for sleeping and lounging around the house. They are not for going out in public and especially not for going to a place where you're meeting with your future colleagues and your future references. What are you people thinking? If you can't show the initiative to put on uh, a pair of trousers or a pair of pants or a skirt or a dress and, or a blouse or anything like that, then the professor's really not gonna have any hope for you. Please do not show up to class in your PJs. Please, please, I'm begging you, please. It drives me insane. It really does drive me insane. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and show you all what I have for school um, and some things that I always like to keep in my backpack. I'm going to get a new backpack, so I'm not going to show you my old one. I'm going to get a new one. Um, I always keep a pair of scissors in my backpack, and these are my pink ones. I love them because you never know when you're going to need them. I always also keep a hairbrush and a little hair tie um, in my backpack. And this one's really cute because I like the the rhinestones on it. I think it's adorable. I'll also show you guys the things that I keep in my purse um, when I go, uh, you know, to class, but I won't show you that in this video because I want to keep the video relatively short. Another thing, I have a little Lisa Frank pencil pouch here that is so cute, and in it I keep um, some white out. I also keep a little mini stapler and some extra staples which everybody is always borrowing my stapler. I'm a creative writing major and you know all my classes you know we're turning in papers and stuff and I always have my papers stapled before I get there but I have this on me just in case somehow m miraculously I forgot you know and but I never do and it's always someone sitting next to me and they're just like Darby do you have a stapler? And I'm just like really? You're a writing major and you didn't staple your paper? Hmm but I always lend it out anyways. I'm just like, make sure I get it back. Another thing that I keep um, in my little pouch is this um, clamp. And the reason that I keep this out is for really big books. Um, when I have them open, sometimes they'll want to flip over, you know, and if I'm trying to write notes and read and listen and everything, I can't, you know, hold the book open with my arm and write, you know, at the same time. It makes it more difficult. So I use this to clamp it down so that it stays open. This is my little Hello Kitty pencil pouch, and in it I keep um, basically all my pens. And I, um, so I'll just show you, I have my pens in there, all different colors of pens and highlighters. And I also keep my flash drive in there. Now, college is a little bit different from high school in the fact that you don't get a list. I remember since elementary school, you know, whenever we, I would go to get school supplies, there would always be a list, you know, and you have your teacher's name on there, you know, and all the supplies you need. They don't do that anymore. <laughs> You basically have to wait until the first day of class to know exactly what the teachers want, which I think is kind of ridiculous because by then all the good stuff is gone. So some of the basics that I like to get anyways, I'll go ahead and show you that now. I always like to have um, a one inch binder and these I decorate, like I have fun decorating, I'm sorry about the glare guys. Um, I decorate mine with stickers and pretty pictures of makeup and products and nail polish and stuff like that. And that's the back. Um, so this is my really pretty binder. Uh, so I like to keep a binder. Um, I usually like to keep a binder for days. Um, when I was a freshman, one of the mistakes I made was I wanted a binder for each class. And if you have three classes in one day, that's really heavy. 
so if on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays you have three classes, for instance, just for example, I would keep three classes in this binder. And then if on Tuesday and Thursday I have two other classes, I would have a separate binder for those classes. And just put, um, this is the next thing I was going to get to, some dividers in and, you know, write on there what the class, the, cl the name of the class, and that's how I stay organized. Another thing that I went ahead and got are a couple of notebooks, and I'll just show you some of them now. Um, they're really cute. This is my Hello Kitty notebook. <laughs> um, it doesn't really matter um, what your notebooks look like in college because they're not going to take them up. These are just for notes, literally. They're just for notes. Sometimes teachers might require journals, but most of the time, I don't think I've ever had a teacher tell me, oh, you have to have a blue journal, you know. Um, most of the time, they don't care. <laughs> Another thing that you'll want to stock up on is college ruled paper. And the only reason I say college ruled is because it has more lines on it. And for note taking, that's quite convenient. Also, I want to go ahead and show you, um, I got um, some index cards and it's in a notebook. So for each class, like say I have a history class, I would keep all of my test questions and study, you know, study material in here, you know, for a test. And this semester I got four of them. Um, because I'm taking four classes, so that should be plenty. And if I have some left over, great, I can use them next semester. Another thing that I like to keep in my backpack, in my purse, in my car, everywhere is some type of Germex. This is Purell, Germex works just fine. Something to sanitize my hands because that place be nasty. Um, I just got this, I haven't even taken it out of the package yet. It's a little pretty glittery calculator. Um, like I said, I'm a writing major, and I do have um, a TI 83 or 84, something like that, that big giant, it does everything for you calculator um, for college algebra, but I took college algebra in high school, so I got it out of the way, so I don't really need that calculator anymore. However, um, I just thought this was cute. I know I have a calculator on my phone. I know that. Don't leave me a comment and say, don't you have a calculator on your phone? What are you doing? Get another calculator. Yes, I know I have a calculator on my phone, but I thought this was so cute, so I just had to have it. One of the things you can do with your books if you don't want to, um, uh, you know, dog ear the pages or highlight or anything like that, you can use these little um, page flags, you know, and write, you know, what, what you need on the side, like, you know, line 52 or something like that, or paragraph 3 or whatever. That way you don't put any marks in your books and you could sell them for more when you're finished with them. Another thing I went ahead and I got... Um, some more pins, and I like Sharpie pins. They're my favorite. Um, and these are the pins, let's see. Let me see here. These pins right here, these are for note taking, okay? However, these pins here, which are quite a bit nicer, these are for um, any type of handwritten work that I have to turn in. Also grabbed some highlighters. Um, I don't ever highlight inside my books, but sometimes I'll go through and highlight notes. Um, and I'll also color code things in my planner. You always want to have a planner because trust me, the last thing you want to do is write your homework assignment on a scrap piece of paper and then not remember where you put it. That's horrible. Invest in a planner. They're not expensive. I think this one was like $5 maybe. Um, and, you know, you just open it up, it looks like this. So you put all your homework in here. And I like to keep mine out. I get it out as soon as class starts because sometimes the professors, you know, get a little off track and they might just throw in the homework at any time instead of at the end of class. And sometimes they do it at the beginning of class and sometimes they do it in the middle of class. Just, just, just basically whenever they think about it. So if this is out and ready to go, you don't have to go, excuse me, hey, what did he just say? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Excuse me, professor, professor, over here, professor. What did you just say? And then the professor's like, what, were you not listening? Why were you not listening? You're not paying attention? And you're just like, oh, crap. So it's just better to have this thing out <laughs> and ready to go throughout the glass, just in case. The last thing um, that I got, you know, for now are some colored Sharpies, simply because I love them and I like to write on things and I think it's fun. <laughs> So I believe that's it. I'll show you guys my new backpack when I get it. Um, I ordered all of my books online um, through eBay and Amazon uh, because it's so much cheaper. Um, 
than buying it at the bookstore. I'm sorry guys about my cat. I don't know what he wants now. He's finished drinking his water and now he's just sitting there looking at me meowing. Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> Kitty. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> um, anyways, um, if you guys have any questions about college, you know, or, you know, you want me to do um, any other specific tutorials or anything like that, um, just leave me a comment in the comment box below and I'll be sure to work on that for you. Um, and I'm also going to do a uh, school appropriate makeup tutorial uh, probably tomorrow. So I really hope this is helpful and I hope you all have a wonderful semester. And if this is your first time going to college, good luck. Don't be scared. It's going to be great. I promise.